What is good, you guys? The Azure Latch update has finally dropped. As I'm sure you've all already seen, it's absolutely peak. And today, I got a tech guide for you all using Borrow. So let's get straight into it. Actually, real quick, before we get into it, I want to give you all a massive thanks for getting the channel to 9,000 subscribers. That means a lot to me, you guys. And at 10K subs, we will do a big giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Then let's get on with the rest of the video. All right, so starting off, I'm sure you're all familiar with your third skill, King's Path. A very good mobility option that brings you almost an entire quarter of the field forward. And I'm going to show you all a trick with that to get even more range out of it. Alright, so the tech I want to teach you all with this skill is tilting your camera to the right and to the left as you are using the skill in order to move in a straight line instead of like a crooked zigzag line. And what this will do for you is help you travel farther and cover more distance when you use the skill. Here's a direct comparison showing how much distance you cover using the normal variant and using the camera tilt variant of this move. As you can see here, tilting your camera allows you to travel an entire grid further than using this move normally. So to do this tech, what you want to do is sync your camera tilts up with the little forward dashes you make as you're using this skill. So check this out. It goes one, two, three, four. And now we're going to tilt our camera in sync with that. So check this out. One, two, three, four. Just like that, you guys. So remember, it's always right, left, right, left. Just like that, you guys. And remember, you want to be making nice 45 degree angle turns. Don't underdo it and try not to overdo it. But it's much easier to underdo it in my opinion than overdo it. So make sure you're putting emphasis on those camera tilts to really get those 45 degrees in. And you will succeed with this technique, I promise you guys. Another cool little trick I want you guys to learn from this video is a chop triple feint. That's what I call it. All you do is charge up a shot, act like you're going to shoot it, and then go ahead and use your chop dribble. I found this to be quite effective especially right after i've wasted my dribble so people feel like it's safe to come in for a tackle you waste your dribble act like you're gonna shoot or pass and then you chop dribble people will waste their tackle and you will have more time to think and make your next play and in case you don't already know this for whatever reason if you want to move down the field with chop dribble just tilt your camera to the side and use it and you'll get some of that forward momentum and where you're trying to go and the last piece of tech i want to share with you guys is actually with your second skill long shot what you want to do is air dribble the ball, so hit three headers, one, two, three. I have guides on how to do this on my channel. I will post a link in the description. But what you want to do is on that third header, instead of doing a third header, you just want to jump and use long shot. So it should look something like this. One, two, on three, you long shot it. It catches goalkeepers off guard pretty well, and it just looks cool to do, so yeah. And that's all for the video. I hope you learned something new. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.